Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Krompiatek from Coley at Canisius College. In this video, I'll quickly demonstrate how Canisius College students can use Google Docs and other apps for collaborative work. As a professor, you've probably heard of Google Drive and maybe dabbled in it for specific tasks. But here I'll show you how specifically your students can work together in Google Drive. To keep this video short, I'll stick mainly to Google Docs, but there's similar possibilities with Sheets, Slides, Forms, and other Google apps. I'll also show the mechanics of student collaboration and leave up to you how you might incorporate this into a collaborative assignment for students. For example, why not have them hand in finished work by simply sharing it with you in Google Drive? Let's say I'm a student who needs to work in a group on a project. We might use multiple files for that, and for efficiency, I'll create a folder and share it with my collaborators. That way, anything I put into the folder is automatically shared with them. I'll click on the new button in the upper left hand corner here and click on Folder. I'll give the folder a name. I'll just call it, and then I'll click on the blue Create button in the bottom right. Then I'll share it with the others. I can either right click on the folder and click on Share, or click on the Share button in the upper right here. And I'll quickly share the folder with my collaborator. I'll make sure that they are an editor for this folder, but I can also assign them different roles. I'll click on send in the lower right hand corner. And now you can see that this group project one here now has a little person in it, which means that it's shared folder and you can see it also changed here as well. Within the folder, I'll create a simple Google Doc. I'll click on new in the upper left hand corner and choose Google Docs. I'll get this notification asking me if I really want to create this in a shared folder. I'll click on Create and Share. I'll give it a quick title. A Google Doc is just Google's version of a text or word processing document. It's simpler system than Microsoft Word, but Google Docs are easily converted to .docx files. This doc is available to my collaborators since I created it in my shared folder. So my collaborators have immediate access to this document. For demonstration purposes, I have this Google Doc created in my Kenesha's Google account open in the left-hand browser. On the right, I have another Google's account open in the browser window. But this account could just as easily be logged in from halfway around the world. I've shared this doc with that Google account, so this window is showing exactly the same file. We can both edit the doc at any time, and it, in fact, the edits show up in the near real time when we do. It also tells me who's making the edits, which is very useful in larger groups of more than two people. There's plenty of other features here, but two that are most useful are suggesting in the upper right here, which is similar to track changes feature in Word. One student can make suggested changes in the document that can be approved or rejected by other students, which is most efficient for tentative edits. Also useful is the revision history. This shows every edit made by all collaborators on a project and can even allow the group to revert to an earlier version of the document. I'll click on File, Version History, See Version History. On the right, the version history will appear. And I can click on each one to preview that specific version. I can also name it. And then to get back to the document, I just hit the back arrow in the upper left. Older methods of group work usually involved passing document files back and forth via email, which involves a lot of uploading and downloading, and then potential problems where group members are not viewing or updating the latest version of a document. And if group members are each editing different copies of a project file, this means someone has to reconcile all those edits. Using Google Docs eliminates this problem. Similar to Google Docs, students can collaborate in Google Slides, Sheets, or other Google app and tools. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please email us at helpdesk at Thanks for watching and have a great day.